What's up guys, it's Andrew Rapier here at Beta AT Production and Publishing, bringing you guys the new tutorial, or I guess, yeah, it is a tutorial. Um, in this, we will be discussing between the relationship of the channel rack and the playlist, uh, I think it's called a playlist, yeah, playlist, so I guess you could say the song mode and, uh, loop or, um, pattern mode so song and pattern mode what is relationship between these two things if you guys have not checked out the basics FL Studio 12 basics uh, tutorial down in our uh, you guys can go check out that in the description I that sounded so messed up our basic <laughs> our basics um, tutorial will be in the description so yeah if you guys haven't seen that it would be great if you guys go check that out now these are like kind of like the we're kind of doing like a quick uh, run through of all the basic stuff for FL Studio 12. I, I guess it could apply to all FL Studio. But anyways, so here is what we got. This is a channel rack. We've talked about this before. Channel rack is a lovely thing. Um, then we got the playlist. That's another lovely thing. So what is the what is a channel rack? Well, the channel rack is kind of like the loop area. So we're going to go pull up our browser. And we are going to use, uh, just for example, just the AT sound kit things. So we're just going to drag some of these uh, little sounds. You, this is just for demonstration purpose. You guys don't need to do this right now. So we're just going to drag on two things. Awesome. So we're just going to click for this crash. If we play. Now we're just going to do this. So yeah, you guys kind of, this is uh, pretty much what the channel rack or loop is. So we're going to pull it up and if we clicked in, we're making sure that our pattern one is clicked because this is where we are working. Pattern one, if we went to pattern three, boom, pattern four, boom, back to, I mean, pattern one, pattern six, pattern one, pattern six. So yeah, hopefully that kind of broke that down. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom in. So, we got pattern one. So, this is what we got. And if you just click right in here, it will, and then you press space, it will automatically do it. So, so that is kind of like the relationship between the pattern and uh, pattern uh, mode and the playlist. Now, that is not probably as well as uh, in depth as you guys are probably wondering I mean as you guys are probably wanting so we're gonna go more so pretty much uh, normally I would advise people not to work like this like what I mean by work like this I mean like just put everything in one put everything in the channel rack and then work by putting it on the uh, playlist and sorry that I'm gonna go back and forth from saying uh, Oh, frick, what's it? Pattern mode and uh, channel rack. <laughs> channel rack. <laughs> frick, I don't even know why I said that earlier. But, um, so what I would normally do is we go here and we go down and split by channel. Um, I know it might be a little bit different if you guys aren't using uh, FL Studio 12, but this is FL Studio 12, so this is what we're doing. Uh, so we're going to do split by channel. So now it's separated. And it even has renamed it to, so this is a symbol, orc crash, and we put it right here, and we're just going to click. Oh, now we just got the crash. Now if we went, scrolled up, I just scrolled up on my mouse, uh, you guys could also just right click and select. Now we have the hi-hats. Well, if we just click all these. So now we kind of got this going. So that's pretty cool. 
So that's kind of like the main premise of the channel rack or the uh, pattern mode with the song mode and or playlist. Um, so if we scroll up and scroll back down. So that's kind of like how you do it. So let's uh, put in that orchestral crash one more time. We're going to scroll back up to that hi-hat. And you guys could do this different ways. So what we could do is we could click this. It creates a new pattern. Now let's call it kick. Now we're going to just grab a kick from our kit. And we're just going to press it right here. We're going to do it like this. And now we're just going to draw that in. So you can kind of see. Now, let's scroll up. We can actually do all this. And uh, we're going to name it. And to name the uh, channel rack or the pattern, I just press F2. And we're just going to call this everything. So we're going to do do it like this and so now the one thing that you will notice that is going to hit the orchestral crash like this now so if we move it like this You see, now if we wanted to uh, make the, let's go in here. If you click it, so click, then it's going to go to it. So click, it's going to automatically select it usually. So we have everything. Now if we wanted to keep doing like how we had this, kind of like how, not this, like this, and we want to put it all in the channel rack which I mean you guys could but I would advise against it we could just do this so now it's literally just like it because if you guys remembered at the beginning right here it's gonna have that orchestral crash and so beginning and here's our orchestral crash so yeah so we're gonna just uh, go back select everything let's just do auto name Auto name will automatically name it to whatever the playlist name is. So since we call this symbol orc crash, which when you split by channel and already have these um, elements. So if we were to split by channel on this, we won't. So, but if we were, it would rename everything to like raw kick, raw kick two, and uh, hi hat, hat one, symbol, orchestral symbol. So auto name auto name so so that's kind of the main breakdown of uh, sim uh, the channel rack and the playlist it's a very quick run through on how to do it and uh, show you guys what each thing kind of does and what's the point um, and uh, I guess we could go so far the playlist kind of gets you more creative so we're just working in that orchestral crash right now we can go to that hi-hat now let's say I just want the hi-hats right here but I want my kicks all right here and have two kicks like that and then we do a kick kick Actually, let's just do kicks like that. So now we have more creative uh, customization, I guess, on where we're going to lay everything out. The playlist is the song mode. How are you going to stack and organize everything in a structured manner? And if you guys want to know how to structure, like, um, uh, for, um, man, I'm drawing blanks of some examples that we got some tutorial like trap beats. We have numerous like Southside. He's a producer or Zaytoven Migos. 
Fatty Wop. We got a whole bunch of tutorials like that on our page. So subscribe, and we always upload more tutorials like those all the time. And we just we show the overall general breakdown of those songs or those artists and producers style. So let's play this real quick. You see, no hi hats. Now it comes in with the hi hats. No kicks now. And remember, how we named this was just right clicking and click auto name. Auto automatically names it. So if we had a uh, hypothetically, let's just go right here. We're just gonna enter the auto name. Oh, yeah. If you don't name your pattern anything then it won't work like that so or sampler but <clears throat> so yeah hopefully you guys uh, found this uh, video informative and kind of broke down the uh, simpleness and the relation between the playlist and channel rack uh, I know these are very short videos and that's how we're kind of keeping it kind of making it very short condensed and uh, yeah if you guys like this give it a thumbs up uh, comment like subscribe and check out our website for more stuff if you guys uh, want to get our drum kits it's on b to as well so glad to have you guys join us and I will see you guys later mm -hmm.